Hey, in today's video, I'm going to show you six different ways to mix up your drywall mud. And these prices range from 99 cents on up to 30 or $40. I'm going to show you that next. Okay, in today's video, like I said, I'm going to show you seven different ways to mix up drywall mud. And each one of these kind of has a different purpose and a different advantage. It's kind of why I own so many of them. You don't need all of them, but I'm going to tell you what the advantages are to each one. And I'm going to show you the cheapest way to mix up your drywall mud. Especially if you're a novice, somebody that just does this once in a while, you don't want to buy one of these $40 tools. But if you mess with it very much, you might. So I'm going to go through these. All right. First of all, this is the pro grade right here. These two right here, either one of these are something that a professional would use. Now I had this one for quite a while. You can see it got used quite a bit. And the advantage to this one is it's fast. It's got four blades, so it's faster. And it's got the, this design that's going to kind of whip the mud up a little bit, stir it more rather than just spinning in it and it's really strong and sturdy so it does a great job the other advantage to this style is with four blades it doesn't shake your bucket as much this style here is also professional grade but it costs quite a bit less that's one reason a lot of people have them including me but the disadvantage to that is it doesn't mix up as fast and because of the two bladed design it tends to shake the heck out of your bucket and I'll show you that here in a minute. The four bladed design doesn't shake your bucket like that. Now the disadvantage to this is it costs more. These, and now I bought this locally, it's been quite a while online. I think they're 45 or $50 and I'm not sure of this. I'll try and look up the prices and put that on the screen for you. This is the newest one I got. This is from level, level five. And as you can see, I haven't even got to test it out yet. They sent this to me. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, but they do uh, help me out by providing these tools to me to demonstrate to you guys. And they also allow me to give you guys a 10% discount on any of their tools. Now that's something you can't get anywhere but an affiliate, and I'm one of their first affiliates. So just look down in the description down below. You can get 10% off all their tools. That includes a $3,000 order if you want to buy the full set of tools. Now this one's also got a unique design. It's got spider webs on it. That helps with the mixing. It makes it a little tighter. Just kidding on that one, but somebody will probably believe me. This has got a unique design. You can see it's also designed to whip the mud, you know, spin it a little bit more, mix it faster. So we're going to see how that does in a minute. Now let me tell you the disadvantage, the other disadvantage to these pro-grade tools. Those two... And really this one, this one not quite so much, but you really need a powerful drill to turn it. This is a DeWalt half inch drill. If you try and do that with your cordless drill, sometimes it will spin it, but I guarantee you, you're burning your drill up. I've done it. <laughs> I used to install biodiesel processors. I manufactured them for six years. I wrote a book called Do-It-Yourself Guide to Biodiesel like on the screen here, and I was drilling bunch of holes in concrete using one of these DeWalt hammer drills and it was too big of holes we were doing too much and I actually burned my drill up so don't overuse them and I can tell you that spinning mud that's overusing it so that's your disadvantage these cost about $150 you can get a cheaper version I'll put some uh, examples in the links down below but it takes a bigger drill to spin them now this one you might get by spinning it but it's still going to work your drill pretty hard so now let's move on to the next option and this is well this is homemade so you guys can't buy this there is one out there like it now the reason i made this is because it fits into a pan and yes i could have uh, bought it and i think i can put a link to this one in the description so it's meant to mix up like hot mud and that in your pan but i just felt like building it because i can i can weld and also i made it 
I still use it fairly often for small buckets of hot mud or something like that. This is the level five version. Now you can see here in the close up, it's basically a miniaturized version of that. And it's also meant to mix up in your pan for hot mud, things like that. And I haven't got to try that either. So we're gonna try that today. And then you got this version, which is basically a paint whip. Now I took and cut this down to size so that when it's in the pan, it wasn't constantly beating the sides. It's also used for mixing up hot mud. It's kind of an experiment and I kind of like it, but one of my all time favorites is this one. This is obviously an egg beater. Cost me 99 cents for two of them at one of the thrift stores. And I even use it for mixing up. Mm, I hope that's not cat litter. No, no, that was the peanut butter. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I'm trying to be healthier with all my health issues. And I'm trying right now I'm going on a keto diet, which is basically a low carbohydrate, higher protein. You're burning more ketones instead of sugar, basically. So I'm trying to do some healthy things and I mixed up my own peanut butter with this. I added coconut oil and uh, bone broth and a number of things I wanted to mix up. Well, I just took my old trusty beater in there with my drill and mixed it up and I for didn't get it really clean, but peanut butter's still good. So I like this one because I use it to mix up hot mud. This is my favorite one for mixing up hot mud. And yes, it is faster than using just your knife. I did it with just the knife for probably 15 years before I thought about trying to use uh, this egg beater. And it really works well. We're gonna try that here in just a minute. But it works really well on hot mud, but it also works on regular mud. So if you're really on a budget or somebody just does this once in a while, just go pick up an egg beater, put it in your cordless drill, and just mix up a pan at a time. You don't have to mix up the whole bucket. If you're a pro, this would take you forever, but it's great for mixing hot mud. So we're gonna demonstrate that up close here. Okay, so you can see the pan of mud here and it's straight out of the bucket. Uh, this is some I've been using for a while, but it's kind of dried out a little bit. So it's, it's a lot like mud is when it comes straight out of the bucket. It's, you can see how it looks kind of crude. It doesn't have a smooth, creamy look, and that's how it feels when you use it like this. So let's try mixing it with this drill right here. Now I'd suggest you use it on your low setting if you don't want to texture your walls in the same process. Okay, you can see that's working well. Now I would go a little further and this is so thick, I would thin it down a little bit, but I want to try out some of these others. So I'm just going to leave it like this. To clean this, you just tap it off like that and then stick it in a bucket of water twirl it a few times and then swish it back and forth to get that center column and it's clean. So it cleans up really easy. Okay, so now we're gonna try the paint whisk or whip, I think it is. Now this one, we can go ahead and put it on high. You just don't wanna pick it up out of the mud. If you pick it up a little bit, that's when you start slinging it. So you can see it's really smoothing it out nicely. Now let's try this new one here that I haven't got to try. I can tell you, I like the five-sided shaft better. That does help it hold in the drill better than my smooth design or the egg beater design or the whip. They all have the smooth one. This five-sided doesn't slip as often. I usually like to stabilize these when I'm doing it one-handed. It's kind of hard. It's kind of a long shaft. All right, that one works too. It's a little more noisy because it's beating on the side a little bit more. All of these work. Now this one comes with a level five homeowner grade uh, toolkit. I forget the exact term for it. We'll put a picture up on the screen here of the level five homeowners toolkit. And then we'll test mine out real quick just to show you. It does work pretty dang good actually. The 
it's still a little big that's why i don't use it as much the little one doesn't make as much noise and i just kind of like it overall but again this works good in like a gallon of hot mud that i'm doing or something like that another good use for this is when i'm mixing up hot mud in a five gallon bucket usually i'm only mixing up about that much this works great these bigger ones would be way too big the smaller ones would be way too small. That's one reason I have a lot of them. Okay, so we found out that those work great for that. Now let's go ahead and try these two big ones and mix up this bucket of mud. I've got a bucket of plus three here that I haven't mixed up yet, so it's gonna be perfect time to try this. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. This is fresh, unmixed mud with the level five paddle. Now usually these want to spin the bucket just because of all the resistance so a lot of times we hold it with our foot either both feet around it or a lot of times I just put one foot on top. Now when you're mixing mud if you're a beginner tap it like I did if you just lay into it sometimes things are out of control. The bucket starts spinning. I've had novices do that and just sling mud everywhere because like I say, it will spin the bucket too. So just do this double tap, make sure everything's moving right and then mix. I'm not going to mix it up completely. Normally you go around the edges quite a bit and work top to bottom, make sure you're pulling everything together. But we're gonna test out this other paddle. This paddle here, it works basically the same. So I'm not gonna dirty up another tool I gotta to clean, but I can tell you that this level five paddle is cheaper and it's doing the same thing. It's plenty strong. I'd recommend this one anymore. Okay, now I'm going to hold it down here with my feet and see if it shakes the bucket at all. All right, it's not. So let's change paddles here and see what the difference is. Okay, I'll just hold it with my foot, try and keep my kilt out of the way and see if this shakes it like normal. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, so you can see, yes, the two-bladed one did shake it. Now, plus three, it's not all that thick today. So sometimes, especially if you start from scratch like I did with the big one, it'll shake the heck out of that bucket, which is a real pain. It can shake mud out of your bucket. It can crack your bucket and it makes it a lot harder to hold it. It wants to spin a lot more. So the four-bladed uh, level five mixer really for professional use that one works the best and at a great cost so i'm going to put a link to all these down below you can choose which one you want and i hope that helped you out as always i appreciate you guys stopping by i love helping you out i love hearing your comments about how i'm helping you out and i look forward to seeing you on the next video everybody take care